Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the Smart Manufacturing Roadmap. So let's get into this video. Starting from the Industry 1.0, from olden days, there will be a no technologies involved so that people use some mechanical and steam powered systems to perform some of the operations such as cutting etc. When the industrial development growth is somewhat increased in after uh, 1900s etc. So that some of the technologies such as hydraulics and pneumatics evolved and then industry 3.0 involves the robotic systems that is a person uh, handle a machine using a set of codes or a programs then comes industry 4.0 this involves a major and it is the best and important uh, part in the world industry 1.0 it starts in the 1800s it uses the water and steam powered machines in industry 2.0 involves in the electricity and it discovers are invented in the 20th century then industry 3.0 it in the last uh, few decades it evolves in the 20th century it involves the uh, hydraulics and pneumatics and electronic devices etc then industry 4.0 this is the new or an important technology that is used all over the world the basic or a principal uh, part is the internet of things that is a machine can be connected to the internet and can be controlled from any part of the world through a cloud computing system so it incorporates the cutting edge technologies they are additive manufacturing additive manufacturing means the prototype 3d printing that is materials can be added to the some base element so that we can get a new product then robotics robotics in the industries for the handling and transporting of the materials from industries to warehouses and are controlled through a programs that are connected internally or uh, internet then artificial intelligence that is the artificial robot that senses and interprets the information and sets for sets the operations instantly and without the use of the human worker then cognitive technologies and advanced materials such as uh, fiber technology carbon fibers kevlar fibers etc then augmented reality this is the new technology with the help of a, a holographic or some of the technologies that use uh, that you able to see the uh, how, how the designs can be made and how to interpret and how it can be assembled we can see everything through the use of a hololens etc this is the augmented reality then comes industry 4.0 it includes autonomous robots cyber security that is the security of a data and augmented reality internet of, internet of things system integration simulation simulation is important part simulation means designing in a software and perform some operations in the softwares internally not doing the manually and big data the informations that are stored in a servers and additive manufacturing there is a 3d printing and finally cloud computing this is the major part of the industry 4.0 then iiot that is internet of things this is a large concept and it is the important part in the industry 4.0 without iiot there will be no internet of things there will be no industry 4.0 because every machine to be connected to the internet so that only every part of the in a person in every part of the world can control the set of uh, the machine through a set of codes then the collected data is sent to a central cloud cloud based service where it is aggregated with the other data and then shared with the end users then 
the world wide web helps a major role because it will replace traditional industrial platforms like software and programmable logic controllers these are the um, system programmable logic controllers are used for a particular machine only not to the uh, for all the machines then how to prepare for the industry 4.0 means first to get digital and automated connected real time access and remote access that is if you are performing some operation if there is an error the error should be reported to the a designer or a person who operates that so that real time access and remote access and get internet friendly tools then comes digital how to make digital the data can be tracked using machines like barcode readers or qr scanners the parts uh, the uh, the barcodes or qr code should be placed on the products so that we can get the data about the product by just scanning the barcode uh, barcode or qr code and machine vision equipment to translate a true the information from barcodes and images into strings of data then comes automated every machine must be automated so that only we can help we can able to connect it to the internet uh, because of uh, uh, its capability and the auto the automation needs set of programs to control it the set of programs needs a storage that is a big data so that only we can store it and the computer recognize the information that is stored and performs a certain functions then systems that use the big data to react to both internal and external trends will gain the advantage in their markets driving production that is most flexible to environmental conditions and consumer demands then get connected connected means communication communication between the machines and the central computer or to the internet the foundation of the iot will be a communication device must be connected with each other and unify the communication of systems and networks that rely a part on web services for interconnectivity will break away from device based operating systems and protocol limitations and achieve open communication across the most important platforms this involves some of the basic languages such as http uri json and xml these are need to be uh, developed uh, to perform the connected or a communication so what is the progression that is the improvement in the industry 4.0 we can get the real time data acquisition and big data these are all the progression such as machine automation equipment connectivity and data acquisition and mes integration and process visualization finally big data analysis and predictive maintenance if we have big data we can analyze what are all the operations that are performed in a short time and long time so that we can get to the pro process and we can optimize the complete process then real time data acquisition this involves the use of sensors the sensors plays a major role in the real time data acquisition if you are uh, if a person uh, manufacturing or machining a uh, screw with threads some of the threads are manufactured and go in a conveyor the sensor senses the how much the quality of thread look like and uh, how it is performed or how it is turned as it is finished or not so so that if a defected screw has come uh, in a conveyor the sensor detects this is not a perfect screw so that it sends the information to the uh, user who operates the complete system so that sensors play a major role connecting the factory to this internet of things allows operations to communicate with the material supplier through the logistic chain to the retail location to the consumer then big data big data collected on the in world wide web can be used to tailor operations to both economic and environmental climates then these are all the some facts or inventions there are recent in developments in smart factories they are perception robotics that is in usa industrial self cleaning gecko gripper 
and Lely International Netherland discovery of the 120 collector that is a um, cleaning the cow dung in the dairy industry and SU Euro Drive uh, are leading this change these are some companies that are changing the environment of the industry through the use of industry 4.0 and Audi invested in 1.3 billion on a smart plant in Mexico that offers centralized production control smart logistic and etc then cryptizer of cap Gemini also pointed to Tesla for being super automated for to be very mature in digital manufacturing and Cisco for having super smart factories doing all then these are all the list smart factories implementation how much they are implemented in the global average 43 percent only uh, ongoing uh, are using the industry 4.0 in USA is the leading um, country that uses the smart manufacturing for the 54 percent and you will see the these color codes and in USA 24 percent is currently being formulated that is not in operation but they are setting up in the green means they are a plan to set in next three to five years and orange means they are not at all set that 4.4 then John Deere is an interesting fact that John Deere is a company a heavy equipment company that has fitted its tractors with sensors lots of sensors from control and documentation ECU flow adjustment sensor that is a automated machine that performs several operations in an agricultural land by a set of components and performs operations individually by itself this helps the manufacturer to update the farmer of if a moving part of the tractor or the harvester is going to fail one month before even we can sense whether the part has to be damaged or we want to replace the defected part the analytics behind the predictive framework was driven by bangalore based mid-sized analytics called tage analytics it is a company which involves this uh, equipments in the john deere company and what are the device to cloud factory machine management system wise 4000 wireless device to cloud solution this is a device that helps to the uh, cloud factory machine management it it offers data collection data logger data pre-processing and cloud connectivity tools then it is a fact that the mahindra and mahindra nashik plant has a robots robots only used for the building up of cars and some tata motors plants also using at pune for the uh, assembly or car building then in future what we do there is a kvm switch keyboard video mouse it is a hardware device that allows the user to connect or control multiple computers from one or more set of keyboards video monitors and mice it looks like like a hub so that we can connect four or more hdmi cables through a single point so there are also be a drawbacks in this type of industry 4.0 first one is labor loss or the employment of the labor will be less because if we set up the robotic system in our factory minimum 10 to 15 labors will lose their job so that it will not be a, a labor advantageous project the risk of all observers radar was cyber security cyber security the hacking ethical hacking or a hacking is also a major disadvantage that every person or a, if a hacker uh, determines to hack the particular industry he he may crack the computer system and get the access with his uh, computer and operates the computer as it is what he thinks so that cyber security is the major problem and unpredictable cost there are several unpredictable costs that may exceed the actual cost saved by the automation itself because 
training of the people to automate the uh, machines will also be a, a major task then conclusion so if we are performing performing or uh, going through the industry 4.0 in all the industries we will get somewhat uh, new technology involved in these industries but um, in next 10 years there will be also a upgrade that is a 5.0 that will be involved the another new technology the technology involves or evolves through a set of years or through a companies the, dev the development of the industry 5.0 could improve to the full realization of what the architectures of the industry 4.0 had only dreamed of the dawn of 2010s as artificial intelligence improves and factory robots assume more human like capabilities the interaction between the computers robots and human workers will ultimately become more meaningful and mutual enlightening though we have the advantage there are also a disadvantage if you perform all the uh, machines are automated and uh, performing industry for 5.0 humans have not uh, get any work if you implement these all the technology has to be that which will not be able to damage the life of the labors so this is a short video friends if you like this video put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching